We love that song. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Center for Spiritual Living, Capistrano Valley, here in Talega. And welcome to those of you who are here, and welcome to our online people. We begin with the Flames of Faith. We perform this ceremony to promote the universal consciousness of life, which acknowledges all peoples and all faiths, all sentient beings, come from the one great universal presence, which we call spirit. Fundamental to this truth is the unifying nature of all religious thought and experience, which we honor here today. We light the candle for the Tao, honoring the universal path of harmony and equilibrium, the natural way. We light the candle for the shamanic traditions, honoring the beliefs and practices of all indigenous peoples, the way of primal spirituality. We light the candle for Hinduism, honoring the path of knowledge, action, and devotion. We light the candle for Judaism, honoring the ethical path of living by sacred law. We light the candle for all forms of Buddhism, honoring the Four Noble Truths and the path of compassion. We light the candle for all forms of Christianity, honoring the Christ consciousness as the path of love. We light the candle for all forms of, Buddha, of Islam, honoring the path of compliance with the will of God as the highest calling. We light the candle for the universalistic religion of Baha'i, honoring the path of unity and peace. We light the candle for all forms of new thought, honoring the metaphysical path of mental healing through the practice of universal spiritual principles. And as practitioner Aidan Greeny lights the last candle, let it represent the path that brought you here this morning. And so we continue, <laughs> we continue with prayer. So would just join with me, please, that in this holy moment of right now, I recognize and know that there is only one power and it is everywhere present. It is throughout all time and space and in the timeless and spaceless that it is that eternal presence that is always moving throughout all creation, evolving and growing and signifying our good and greater good. It is working in and through and as and for each one. So what I know is that this time together is filled with receptivity, with fullness, with healing, with peace, with love. All of the qualities of the divine are ours right here, right now. I'm so grateful for knowing that this is so. It is so, and I simply let it be. And so it is. And now we have an affirmation, which is, I am so grateful that I'm fully supported by God, and so it is. And then our Declaration of Principles, I believe in God the one creative intelligence operating through the universe and throughout my entire being, now and always. I believe this perfect spirit operates upon a law of mind and creates my experience exactly according to my belief. I believe this perfect creative intelligence can be used by me and by every other person to produce health, abundance, and love in mind, body, and total life experience. I use it now, and I rejoice in it, and so it is. 
And now we're going to uh, get ready for our meditation time. And today, so this month, our meditation song is I Am the Love of God. We'll get ready and do that. And then I'll lead you in a very short meditation. Just reverberate in your consciousness and allow yourself to relax into this awareness that there's God's love and absolutely nothing else. Everything is in perfect, perfect order, perfect right action. to take you on a little guided visualization this morning. So imagine that you're in your home and it's a nice warm summer day, not, not hot, warm. And you decide to go outside and enjoy just being in the sunshine. Let the sun be on your face, on your arms, 
on your feet. Allow yourself to feel that warmth. Feel that light penetrating and soothing, comforting. Letting your body get even more relaxed as you are enjoying just being in your special place, safe in your own home, enjoying the sunshine. Then you notice one of the trees or some of the greenery in your yard. And it occurs to you that the sun is nourishing the plants, the tree as well as nourishing you. That that light is entering through the through whichever ways it enters through the bark I don't know if osmosis works both ways but maybe through the leaves through the twigs through it's entering the tree and it's growing the tree See that foliage unfold in growth as it's just simply accepting the gift from the sunlight, the gift from nature. Now imagine that you are the sun. You're just simply giving. You're giving, giving, giving of yourself. There's still everything left after you've given. And you know you are blessing this planet. One with the sun. One with the environment, one with life. Let yourself enjoy this awareness for the rest of the time in silence. Gently bring your attention back to this time and space and to truly be here now. And now invite Jimmy Van to the piano. Oh, 
technical difficulties this morning and so we're not we will be posting like we always do but it isn't live it'll be live this afternoon for the people who watch then so uh, and thank you Jimmy that was just wonderful thank you Ben thank you Ed for that uh, solo in, in there it was gorgeous my talk today is what is God giving you what is God giving you and, um, of course, I can look out here and see at least half of you are feel very uh, disappointed and another half of you feel very jubilant. <laughs> so we have a very, and so when you're watching this, probably whoever you're wa watching with is feeling similarly, although I do know some husbands and wife who one is Republican and one is Democrat. That's just what you do here in the United States of America. So I wanted to I wanted to really let you know that what God is giving you is good 
is good all the time, not some of the time, not some of the effects. God is giving each one of us life, giving us choice, giving us perception and ability to, um, to see things in the ways that are going to be biggest blessings for us. Biggest blessings for us. I had, <laughs> I knew that this day would be this day, and I expected that it would there'd be mixed, but I had no idea that it would be pretty well half of, a, first of all, landslide vote, landslide vote, and split pretty well, almost equally, but not quite. So. So we have a new president-elect, Joe Biden, and we have time until uh, he is sworn in, and we have a whole lot of healing to do. We have a whole lot of kindness to express to our family and friends that we have, we have ostracized because they had a different opinion than we had did. Or we have left them behind because they had a different opinion. So it wasn't really where I was going to go this morning, so I'm going to go where I was going to go and then I'll come back. Because honestly, the thing that can heal is the presence within you. This last week, in addition to teaching a class, I'm taking a class with Kathy Ann Lewis, and I've spoken of her before. She's the minister in Seattle. Um, she's a wonderful, very clear minister. Her favorite is Emma Curtis Hopkins, <laughs> and she knows Emma forward, backwards, and sideways. And um, it's a wonderful class. It's called Ministries, Ministries, mysticism and money, ministries, mysticism and money. And it's for ministers only. And it's all about not doing, not using the science of mind, but trusting that mystic source within you. It's very hard for, there are 30 of us in the class, all of us ministers. And she keeps saying, I know you're going to think you need to make an affirmation of this. Don't. What I want you to do is listen for the voice of God. And she has a wonderful personal story for listening to that voice of God. Those of you who know anything about Seattle, they owned this huge, beautiful um, campus. I think it was seven acres, a big, big building, buildings. Um, I was there a couple of times for some trainings and then just on vacation I went because it's always good to see what your colleagues are doing. And they decided, uh, well, they had a six million dollar mortgage. Uh, this thing was worth many millions, but they had a six million dollar mortgage and Kathy Ann decided she didn't like being in that much debt. So she put it out to the congregation, they decided to pay it off. And um, everything that they did, everything they tried, got stopped right about the $500,000 mark. So they almost, almost, almost. And she said it felt like my spiritual mind treatments, my affirmations were being stopped. And so I just quit. I quit doing them. And I just listened. I just listened. That's what we need to do is just listen. And she said, what, and she had a big team of realtors working because it was a big deal to sell this property and they had now had a shorter time. And she, the idea came to her, called the children's hospital. The realtors had, that came through Kathy Ann, the senior minister. So she went to the realtors and said, I kind of think the children's hospital will be interested in this. It just came to me out of the blue. And 
They were in process of attempting to change. There was a covenant on the property, which meant they could only sell it to a, a church, um, a hospital, something to do with children or parks. It, we did, there was, it was really narrow about who they could sell it to while the covenant was on. And they were asking $8 million for this building, which would have paid off their sex and given them a little bit to, to a little bit, $2 million to buy a smaller piece of property. But it so happens that the children's hospital really wanted it and they wanted it with the covenant on. So they offered double the asking price, double the asking price, giving them $16 million. Easily they paid off their six and found a smaller property. The point is, she had stopped trying to make it happen and decided to let God move through her and through they sent her to happen. So she's working with us and um, with Emma Curtis Hopkins, and it is really, a really interesting class. There are only four times, by the fourth time, I'm sure I'll be just filled with light, and you'll just see me glowing when I'm here, and, well, maybe, maybe I don't want that image. Um, it'll be beautiful, whatever, whatever the result is. Because what I do know is when I'm guided to something, it is for my highest good. And because there's no individualized good, what's my highest good is everybody's highest good, it's particularly this center. But truly, it's a universal um, teaching. So what is God giving you today? First and foremost, you are made in the image and likeness of that divine power and presence. So every idea you have is like a seed. It is a seed that can be nourished and planted and grown. Or it can be a seed that you toss out, you don't take care of. But it's a seed that's potent because it's filled with God. It's filled with vitality and aliveness and livingness. Everything that you are is a seed. And whatever it is that you're called to create is a spiritual idea. It is a spiritual idea. Whether it's that you want, um, you want uh, a new home, whether you want a new relationship, whether you want a different experience and more creativity or a different kind of creativity, whether you want perfect health, doesn't have, there is no limitations to this thing. And it doesn't matter if it's something that other people would value and call beautiful, like a beautiful rose, or a beautiful hundred dollar bill. Neither is more spiritual. They're both expressions of the divine. They're both expressions of the divine. Both of, us, both of them can, can be symbols for our greater good and of our supply, which comes from God. Everything is from God and of God. Hmm. So... It's a seed. The meditation that I did is a meditation that reminds us that we can either take that, uh, see the principle doesn't care how you use it. It trusts us because it, we are it. It trusts us to use this thing for what we truly desire and that that will ultimately be good and very good and only good. So trust us. Imagine being unconditionally trusted and loved and honored and cherished. That's what the thing itself, the power greater than we are that we are using and that is using us is. is. 
It's spirit. And it's unlimited. Unlimited in scope and in power. One of my um, one of my sister's friends contacted me yesterday, and she's concerned about her friend, and that's my younger sister. And um, if we really know who we are, if we really know who we are, we'll know that there is nobody and nothing that is against us. There is nothing to um, overcome. I like the reminder yesterday that we are neither Republicans or Democrats, we're Americans. And that was important to me. All of us share that. I had dinner with a friend on Friday night, who's a wonderful gourmet cook. And um, it was the first time I'd been in a home, inside a home, I'd been outside a home, uh, but inside a home during this pandemic. And um, she had all of her windows open and it was beautiful. She sent me home with two gourmet dinners that are going to last five days because they're huge amounts of food. and. Um, and while I was there, of course, you know, I have these Invisaligns that I have to take out before I eat or drink anything that has substance. I can drink water with them in. And I put them in my container. When I got home that night, ready to brush my teeth and get ready for bed, I couldn't find the container. And I thought, oh no, I've left it at her house. What am I going to do? And then I realized, oh, you're on the last ones. You've got three more identical. You can just use the other one. But meanwhile, let her know to look for it so that it, when it shows up, she'll know what it is. So I did. She searched her whole house. And it wasn't there. I searched my purse. I searched my car. It wasn't there. I thought, this is really strange. What am I not seeing? So um, Wayne will know this from last week because he put the sign from my car into, um, into the closet where it belongs. And my car isn't exactly the neatest as it could be. There are some things in there. Like there was a, a, a shirt for our, our walk that we do with uh, Family Assistant Ministries. And there were some papers, and there were some extra masks, et cetera. So there were things that weren't neatly put anywhere, but just sort of there on the back of the floor. I thought, well, clean it out. Don't just look, clean. So I cleaned, and sure enough, there it was. And I was grateful because um, I didn't want to use these extras so quickly, but I felt so badly that I had put my friend through uh, all the trouble of looking through every place that I've been and um, examining, making sure that I would throw them in a, a trash can somewhere. I felt very bad that after a wonderful night and she'd given so much of herself by preparing this meal that I'd also then put her through this. And she texted me back, she said, you know, I love to have you here. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. Well, I felt I did need to apologize, so anyway. Our friends love us. Our friends are in our life by right of consciousness. They don't love us because of our political affiliations. They love us because we connect with them, because we know them, because we see them, because we value them as people. What I know is that whatever um, 
So that is what I wanted to tell you. So she, she asked me if I had read her Facebook, and I, I rarely read anything on Facebook. Um, I participate Sunday morning on Facebook Live. I don't do anything personal on Facebook. And so I had to admit, no, I hadn't seen anything that you'd written. And she'd written a beautiful essay about um, stopping the judgment of our friends and family and getting back to being able to hear and see people just the way they are. And as I used to say, and just the way they are not. Just the way they are and just the way they are not. Because every single one of us is an expression of God. So for those of you who feel heartbroken today, I do not, please don't think that I'm saying you shouldn't feel heartbroken. If you're heartbroken, you're heartbroken. And your heart will heal. And your friendships will heal. And America will heal. We are... I said last week we were practicing this grand, this grand idea of democracy. And it isn't it a grand idea that 174 million people during a pandemic would make sure that they cast their ballots. That's, I think, exceptional. I think it is... Um, worthy of celebration. I think it is worthy of, yeah, worthy of celebrating. That it's good and very good. So in, in my friend's essay, she asked people, were you the one that stopped being a friend to your friend because you didn't like their politics? And then she said, if so, Shame on you. Pick up that phone, make the connection, rebuild the friendship. But if you're the one that has, was be unfriended or whatever, still be the one. Notice how many things in your life, how many things in your life would be better if you just hadn't judged it as bad or wrong. If you'd made no judgment, if you just noticed, ah, I noticed this is a different way of looking at things. And not judge. So, back to the meditation. The sun doesn't judge. It gives freely, as the universe does to all. It gives freely. The, the rain falls on the just and the unjust, as it says in the Bible. Freely on everyone. So, what has God given you? Only you can actually answer that. But what I know is it's good. It's only good. And it's very good. And there's more good for each one of us. And it doesn't matter if it's more beauty or more money. There's more good for every single one of us. And I say thank you, God. I say thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the great faith that is willing to stand in the awareness and the knowledge that the thing that is for me is never separate from me, but is always a part of me. Yeah, that, that lucky old son, as Jimmy sang about, give me nothing to do, Nah, nah, we're human beings. We're going to be doing from our being. Give me lots to do. Give me lots to be grateful for. Give me lots to celebrate about. Give me life. Give me love. Give me freedom. It's all good. It's all God. And each one of us are here on purpose. So as the sun gives freely, it also gives of its light. 
So give of your light freely. Be the one making the difference. Be the one ah, shouting your good news because always there is good news. And today, I'll give all of us a challenge. If there's someone in your life that you have pushed out of your heart for any reason, let this be the day that you pick up the challenge of connecting with that beloved one, your friend, your sister, your brother. Pick up that phone. You be the person that makes the next move. Let the healing continue and let it begin with each one of us. And so it is. And I know it's cold in here. We're trying to keep the, the, the doors open so that we won't be too crowded. I think we could probably close one. It would still be fine. We'd have the air going. I'm going to, I'm going to pray, pray. And then um, Jimmy's going to present another song. In this holy moment of right now, I tenderly and sweetly remind myself that God is everywhere pre present and God is for its entire creation. Americans, Canadians, Mexicans, French people, Russians, Chinese, all peoples, everywhere, it's for its entire creation. And so, speaking for myself in the first person, this is what I know. I know that this is a day that I decide, I choose to bring compassion and love, first of all, to myself, and then to each and every person in my life, each one is there on purpose, by right of consciousness. And so I bring my attention to all of those relationships, all of those friendships, all of those connections with divine gratitude for God's grace, for God's goodness, for God's prosperity. All of it is mine because I allow it. I welcome it. I say, yes. Yes, God. I'm willing to be the one that stands in the muck and mire of things. Because I know that right there, something sings. I'm the one that's willing to stand in the, in the celebration of things. And know that until everybody is celebrating, it's not a full celebration. So I reach out in consciousness to all other beings, all other human beings, all other sentient beings. Each one is a blessing and is blessed. Each one is equipped to live a prospering and prosperous life. Each one is filled with that divine presence that is good and good only. I know that health is mine right now. Vitality and energy and aliveness and youthfulness and wisdom. That eternal, wonderful combination of eternally youthful and spiritually mature. And so, this, I know, I know prosperity, I know connection and love. And I know that that creative mind, that is God's mind, is moving through me and through each one, bringing new ideas, new possibilities, new understanding, a greater good than ever before. I'm so very grateful for knowing what I know. I'm grateful for the science of mind, for Ernest Holmes and his brilliance, and for each one in my life, my family of choice, and my family, all. Everyone is there, blessing me, and I am blessing them, here and now. Thank you, God. <laughs>
It's done, it's complete, and so it is. And now, Jimmy Van. You know, Heather, we've been here all by ourselves for about three months and there's all these people out here. It's a little scary. <laughs> Don't throw anything. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, when I left the house this morning, it looked kind of like this, a little rain and that, and I had picked Blue Skies to sing three, four weeks ago. So then, I was trying to model what Dr. Heather has said and make my own, uh, my own way. And when I got here, the Blue Skies were there. Now they're a little, uh, a little sketchy out there, but maybe this song will help bring us back, huh? for all the people that are in service, both here and um, online. And the, the ones online will be the ones that, uh, and that might be you, Noir, that puts it on the YouTube channel. Anyway, it'll all be available, and everybody who's ever watched it will be able to watch it if they want to. And you should, because the music is fantastic, and you will want to get, get to uh, see all, hear all of that. So, people in service today, Jill Burnett is our practitioner, and you can still, at the end of service, go to the Zoom room and, um, and connect, get a prayer from one of the practitioners in service, and, um, and 
have a conversation and then we have a leadership meeting at 12.30, so we've got a busy time. Um, I guess the rest of us will see it later. Okay, so thank you to our, our and now Noir, you're going to see if you can show these people. Today, uh, we had Anita Baroldi, who's back here, and, um, and Debbie Davis, wave Debbie, and Wayne Davis, wave, uh, in service, thank you, all of you. Here in the room, we have, up, up here on the platform, we have David Page, we have Bill Dixon, who did a wonderful uh, bass part just now. We have Ed Cusby, who both guitar and harmonica. We have our, our music leader, um, choir director, Diane King Van, and her husband has been our musical guest this morning, Jimmy Van, who covered so well from his surgery. We have back at the back, we have um, we have Josh Schreiber in the sound booth, and on camera we have Noir Noir back from Egypt, and happy to have everybody in here in the very front, which I missed, Kimberly and Wade Woldridge, our song leaders. Thank you to everybody. We had Aiden Greeny who lit our candles for us um, as our um, flames of faith. Usually it isn't all just me, and I really appreciate when the ministers are here. Reverend Judy is in uh, the desert today with her mom, and we know you that. So, ah, just fill up your heart with gratitude, because gratitude is a multiplier of good. So let it be filled up, and this is a good time when you are filled with that gratitude to give. And you can give in so many ways. You can write a check right now and put it in one of the baskets around the room. You can go to our, um, our website and pay by PayPal. You can pay by credit card, or you can text GIVE, and that number is 844-948-3044. Any way you want to give, and this now leads us to our prosperity affirmation. And, um, Please say it with me. My offering is my acceptance of God as the source of my supply and symbolizes my faith in the abundant flow of this supply. Okay, and that, um, I think I've covered the announcements unless there's something that I forgot. If not, we'll go to our closing song, which is Love is My Decision. Here, sing it into your masks. There at home, we'll be belting it out.
It is my choice, and it is your choice. Have a wonderful, loving week. And so it is. So it is.